All right, today I wanted to talk about the top five things that I see in a home inspection report um, that are either wrong or just in the wrong place. So uh, with this, this should help you as a seller when you're going to sell, knock these off your checklist. It's something a home inspector is gonna flag every time. And as a buyer, these are generally not huge deals, but there's something you wanna ask for and get fixed because they're simple fixes that um, they're gonna help the integrity of the home over time. So if you don't have these items in the right place and you don't have them done, then you know, you're, you're gonna have your house probably deteriorate a little faster or you're gonna have hazards. So um, here's my top five. One is GFCI outlets. So in all the wet areas of the home, the kitchen and the bathroom, there should be at least one GFCI outlet. And generally they're required within a certain number of feet from every water source. Um, you don't need one for the fridge, but next to the sink um, in both your bathroom and your kitchen, you need to have GFCI outlets instead of just the regular three prong plugs that you see everywhere else in the house. And these are the outlets that you see the little button on them and you can push it and it resets the outlet. That's to stop from having a fire or having a trip and kill your breaker. All right, number two, this is an easy fix is your splash blocks outside of the home on all corners of the home where the, uh, the drainage comes from your gutters. So there should be splash blocks there to help get the water away from the home. Um, if you live on a hill and the water's running toward your home, you wanna make sure that you have those splash blocks there and then probably an extension pipe that runs that water away from the home because you don't want it getting under the house itself. Um, number three is low insulation in the attic. So a lot of times when people flip a house or they redo a house or they're remodeling and they move in, they forget about this. And then when they go to sell, the home inspector flags it. And some buyers get really freaked out about it because it's just, you know, it's something extra you have to pay for. It's probably about a thousand dollars, um, average home, you know, nothing that's under, you know, or over 2000 square feet. So the smaller homes, um, you can probably do for a thousand to 1500 bucks but you need roughly 10 to 13 inches of insulation in your attic to have it uh, perform properly. All right, the last two, um, one is a super easy fix. Number four would be the temporary pressure relief valve on your hot water heater. So the TPRV valve um, for short, it just, uh, if your hot water heater has an issue and that hot water explodes out of the top of the hot water heater and it has too much pressure, then that relief valve is gonna push that to the ground and not everywhere in the room. So this is really dangerous if you don't have one and your hot water heater gains too much pressure um, and it sprays everywhere. I mean, it's really, really hot water. It'll scald you. I mean, easily give you second or third degree burns. Um, and then the very last one is no vapor barrier in the crawl space. This is a super pet peeve of mine because it's a simple fix. It's basically six millimeter plastic that you lay throughout the whole crawl space. Average 1200 to 1500 square foot house is gonna cost you anywhere from 500 to $1,200, depending on who you have do it. You can buy the materials relatively cheap, but you're probably looking at about, about a thousand bucks to do that. Um, so if you hire that out, you know, as a seller, I would recommend um, putting in a vapor barrier, a new one before you sell the house. And as a buyer, making sure that you have a good vapor barrier, because if you do get water and moisture under the house, it creates mold, it uh, hurts the overall air quality in the home. So it's really important to have one. And this is kind of my last pet peeve, but uh, that's my top five. I see it all the time in, I would say 90% of homes. Those are the top five items that a home inspector flags.